Yo guys, just want to quickly pause the video here to give a little shout out to our good friends. Our friends have started up a new YouTube channel. Well, they've actually had it for a while, but obviously they didn't know which sort of route to go. But their channel is called Kala, basically Kala Sounds. And what they do is they do a lot of relaxing sort of background music, but they've also sort of asked myself and that, what what could be useful? And I thought of the fact of anyone that plays like D&D or any of our sort of role-playing games like that, even Warhammer, that just having the background sounds of certain things. So they've basically got a load of videos put together. They're about three months ahead scheduled with loads of sort of shorts and stuff, so you can kind of get an idea every week on what may be coming up over the next week. Like, they sort of, they're doing it as a short and a main video, sort of every two weeks or week spaced out apart, so you can kind of get an idea what it is. But like I said, they do a lot of good mixtures and I just want to give a little shout out in between this video. So please, if you could, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check out Kala. They are pretty small at the moment, but got some really great sounds and stuff like that. Like I say, if you're wanting to use any, they're free to use for YouTube, obviously. Uh, like I say, for any D&D or war games or anything like that, or even just just while you're painting, even just something beamed or that. Anyway, guys, like I say, link in the description if you want to go check out Kala, please do, and help them out if you can, guys. Okay, and bye. Okay, so let's break down what I think sort of GW might end up bringing out with the possibility of doing anything for War of the Root Hiram. Now we all know GW have still got the license, they've re... re uh, I can't forget the word I'm thinking of. They've reinstated it, let's put it that way. So they have the license for god knows how many more years. But they've got sort of three... Uh, sort of three little ideas, I think. I think I've forgotten one of them, but anyway. Three little ideas that might be wise for GW to do if... That's a big F. They do do anything to do with War or Hiram. First thing, pretty small, pretty simple, but a little, little source book. Like I say, a very small source book with a couple of scenarios, which would be really great. Obviously, maybe having both Rohan heroes and Dunland heroes, since it is to do with Rohan and Dun Dunland in that time. Just the ones that are obviously in the film, so anyone that likes playing Rohan on hard mode or Dunland on hard mode gives them a little idea and just something simple to carry around if you just run a small Rohan army like or a small Dunland army just along those lines I don't I, not 100% like got an idea of what I'm saying but just something like that it's like a little source book of that for Rohan or Dunland players or like so it's both profiles together a couple of scenarios things like that paint guide build guides blah 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 all that stuff version guides uh, number two I think a freshen up for, uh, well, say a freshen up, but more Dunland heroes, cool, or more Dunland warriors, preferably in plastic, plastic, I'm sure a lot of people agree with me on that, that's pretty much 90% of the range is metal, and it's just the new characters that are resin or plastic, and obviously for Rohan as well, I know people like the Helm Hammer Hand, or hammerhead, so go in the breath, probably breath show for that. Uh, sorry, um, hammerhead, uh, hammer hand for uh, it is a good sculpt. I know people like it, but his foot pose, I don't know, there's just something about it. I would love to see, sort of, I don't know, just like the I don't know if anyone knows the Rohan captain that's basically sort of choking, like got a fork in his hands by the throat, something like that idea, but a, basically a Dunland. Dunlendian, I'm joking one, maybe like stand on top of another Dunlendian or something like that. Which brings me on to the third idea. Basically going down the Forge Road route and just doing some character poses. They would look really amazing. I don't, I've not seen any, well obviously we've not seen anything at the moment, but I'm obviously recording this before the American Super Bowl, so who knows if when I do have this out, it will have been and we would have seen some footage. But doing some like character sculpts or something like that would be really, really amazing and really just like the way they've done with the, some of the Hobbit range with Guahir, Frandrill, and the Elk and stuff like that. Just really proper, like amazing models for like really experienced painters and stuff like that. Or that you can also use in game as well if you really wanted to. Just something along those lines. So like character sculpts. 
So basically that's my three little ideas for if and when GW do go down the route of the War Realm miniatures, like say source book, new models, new sculpts, etc. and hero characters would be really awesome as well. So anyway guys, we'll get you guys' opinions in the comments if you do. Are you looking forward to the film? Are you looking forward to maybe new sculpts? Are you not giving you're not really caring about Rohan or Dunland? Anything like that. Well all guys, I'll leave you here and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.